Hello and welcome to Cool Geophysics with Blueback Reservoir. Today we're going to look at the fluid substitution and synthetics tool. Fluid substitution uses the Gassman's equations to replace the fluid content of uh, the rock. This allows various scenarios to be created by replacing the existing or initial fluids with various combinations of hydrocarbons. The different scenarios can then be analyzed by comparing the elastic properties, uh, in this case logs in the well section window, or you can take it one step further and then model these through synthetics. Our synthetics tool creates seismic data from reflectivities by convolving with a wavelet, and there are different methods for creating different types of wavelets and for different uh, methods of stacking the synthetic. Uh, for example, you can vary the angles in this synthetics to help understand any AVO effect. Just a quick overview of how fluid substitution works. We provide some input data in the form of an initial VP, VS and rho log. And these are raw petrophysical logs that have been measured. We also provide um, a mineral data set, which are proportions of minerals in the rock. And these are measured or estimated using logs or percentages. In addition, we provide some initial fluid data, which contains the fluid properties and also percentages of oil, water and gas in your initial fluids. And again, these are usually measured or estimated. The variables to the uh, workflow are the uh, two cases, oil and gas, where we can vary the amount of um, oil and gas we have in each case, um, where water will always be 100% saturated. And the output will of course then be three new logs, each for our new uh, water, oil and gas scenario. So this is typically how we work with the results. We'll create a well section display with four logs, our initial, then brine, oil and gas, and we can compare the logs to see which of them best match the initial case. So in this example here in our VP track, our initial log matches quite well with the gas. Moving on, we can then take our cases and model them into synthetics and we can compare again how our initial synthetic compares with our three new cases. So let's um, take a look in Portrayal how that works. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Blueback Toolbox by clicking the Home icon and then I'm going to choose Fluid Substitution End Members and I'm going to choose my initial VP, VS, Row and Porosity logs and then go to create a mineral set. So I'm going to create a rock which is made up of quartz and shale and in the data tab here I'm going to say get the value of shale from my V shale log and this is a percentage log so wherever not shale then make quartz the complement press OK and similarly for fluids here are my fluid properties and in my data tab I'm going to add my water saturation oil and gas logs and again press OK next uh, select a well in this case I'm going to use this Georgetown well and by clicking this auto apply here I can get a QC of my uh, data. I can also color by my fluid cases. In the next tab here, dry to final, here is where I define my uh, two different scenarios. The third scenario, of course, being 100% water. And as I change the values here, you should see my uh, cases being updated here in the QC display. So let's make my oil, oil case have a little bit of um, oil, maybe let's say 30%, uh, a little bit of gas, and gas case we're going to say um, really high gas and no oil at all. And that will be the definition of my different cases. I then press apply and it will create me a VP, VS and row for one, two and the third case being 100% um, brine. I then come back into my um, portrayal well section window and by carefully making a template containing my initial uh, oil, brine and gas cases and of course making sure that I set the appropriate min and max for each logs. I can compare here uh, in black my 
initial log and my gas red oil green and blue brighten case so here I see I have a good match between the initial and the gas um, but if I go lower down in this section I see that then um, the initial tre tends to be more in line with the brine case meaning that I have uh, gas saturation in the top of the reservoir and water saturation in the base. I then want to take this a little step further and model some synthetics for these cases so again choosing the home and this time choose the synthetics and this time I'm going to choose um, again my initial um, and create a synthetic um, from that. I'm going to use um, a wavelet which I've created by running the average seismic spectrum tool but you can of course use this Ricker wavelet or the Ornsby filter. Here you define the angles which you want to um, create synthetics for. You can just always just create it for uh, one stacked synthetic trace or you can model the different angles if you like. So you could look maybe at some far stacks or for example in the near. So you can play around with different um, scenarios and try to look for the different AVO effects. So once I'm happy with um, my settings I'll press apply to create uh, this case and I then want to go back and create the same synthetic this time for oil call it oil and repeat the process for my uh, gas and brine case once I've run that I can then again come back to the well section window in Petrel and carefully add in my data and here you can see I have my three synthetics one for my initial, one for my brine, oil and gas and you can see again that the synthetic show that the gas has probably the best match with the initial uh, logs. So just to conclude, thanks for uh, listening and if you have any questions please uh, don't hesitate to get in touch. Thanks.